Hello everyone and welcome at Wish for Gaming. I want to present you another painting tutorial for Age of Sigmar Nighthelm Army. This time I'll show you how to paint fast and easy Grimcast Reaper model, cured indiscriminate killer armed with double handed slasher sight. Same as for Chimras model, it's also from Age of Sigmar Soul Wars box starter set. With minimum effort you can make it look really good. That's why again I would recommend you to go for full paint scheme. I also want to show you how you can try to paint spectral weapons instead of metal rusted ones like we did in chain rasp uh, horde uh, model tutorial. With this you should be able to finish all four models from Soul War starter set within 3-4 hours painting session. So let's get started with this. First assemble your miniature and remove all mold lines. I found during this step that models for Nighthound at this point have situations where there are visible holes between parts. To fix this you can use some green stuff or modeling putty. Small additional tip, don't glue your miniature to the base. Especially if you paint uh, in batch this will help you for fast painting uh, at later step. That's because when you will for example uh, priming the bases you can do it for all five or four at one time. Next, cover your miniature with white using Corax white spray. You can see that the lines where I used putty are not visible anymore after this step. Next, use a watered down Nihilac oxide uh, paint, it's, it's Games Workshop technical paint, to paint all of the uh, ghost uh, uh, form that is on the below part of the miniature. Let it cover all parts of miniature and don't worry if you accidentally go on other parts like upper cloak or maybe some uh, skeletal hands. They all will be in darker colors so it really doesn't matter at this step. After this you should get the effect something more or less looking like this. Then we will take Ultuan Grey uh, layer paint and with dry brush we will go through all of the parts uh, that we earlier painted with Nihila Oxide. After finishing with dry brush, you should have something more or less uh, looking uh, like I'm showing you at this point. Then take white scar layer paint and make another dry brush with it. But this time make it more gently and focus on the edges of your miniature. At this point we have your lower ghostly part of your Grimcast Reaper finished and we can start painting the upper part. We go for the cloak and we use, use for that a Cantor, Cantor Blue uh, paint. At this point try to be more careful and watch out for the parts that are already painted because it's a darker paint and it will be hard to cover if you for example uh, go with this blue paint to the parts what were painted uh, in the previous step. Because as I mentioned we will this time uh, paint the weapons parts uh, in some kind of spectral form, use also counter blue on the side head. Mm. 
Next, take Ushapti bone paint and go with it for all of the uh, parts that are uh, bones like hands and uh, face. Next, using Rhinox height, go for the handle of the site. It was a very nice brown color and it suits well this painting scheme. You can also for the handle use some darker color, for example like uh, Abaddon black or Ashing grey. Then take a little Belcher paint and go for the chain mile that is uh, flowing uh, out of the mm, cl blue clock part. Using corn red, paint the decorative part of the cloak and use it also for the hand, ha headband on your miniature. First, start with Drakenhof Nightshade and use it on uh, cloak and the side head that, is, uh, in, uh, that was painted using a uh, canter blue. Be careful with, with, with the shade and try not to spill it uh, on other parts because it will be again hard to cover it. Next, go for Akrax Airflate and Paint with it uh, the side uh, handle, use it for uh, bones part like hands and skull. Again, use for it some kind of a smaller brush and try not to spill it on other parts like uh, uh, red parts or on the ghostly form. Next step, take a known oil and, and use it on a uh, giant model that was painted with a uh, lead belcher. Next, go for Karoburg Crimson shade and paint with it red parts that was painted using corn red. After the shades will dry, we'll start with highlights. First, we'll use Sotek Green and highlight with it all of the edges on the blue cloak. Paint it smoothly all along the edges and try to cover off all of the blue part on them. With the cloak, apply Sotek Green also on the side head. At this point, your miniature will start looking better and better, but 
it's just the beginning because we apply another highlights on uh, it. We'll go for the temple guard blue and we'll apply them on some part of the edges that were painted earlier using Sata Green. Go for it and try to apply them uh, like on the 30, 50% of the uh, parts of the edges painted uh, uh, with Sata Green. Make it look something like a dotted line where dots are the parts where you use Temple Guard Blue. And do the same for the side head using also Temple Guard Blue paint. Next, we'll take Baharot blue edge paint and place a dots and small lines in the middle of the parts uh, painted with Temple Guard uh, blue. This all together will give a really nice ghostly and spectral look and you will see by yourself that with it will make your miniature looking really really good. At this point it will look really nice and there are some additional highlights to apply, but I will show you. First, take an Evil Sun Scarlet and paint with the edges on of the decorative parts of the cloak that we painted earlier using Corn Red. Next, take Balthazar gold paint and go with it for all of those brats on the red ornament. Next, take a run Runefang steel paint and make with it a really gentle dry brush on all of the parts of the chain mile that is sticking below the uh, uh, blue part of the cloak. Next, take a bane blade brown paint and do also a gentle dry brush on the handle part of the side. Try to go with it for the uh, edges and the parts are kind of sharp. Next, we'll take a screaming skull paint and make another gentle dry brush, this time focusing on the uh, hands and on the head part. Be careful and make it really gentle just to highlight the edges. So, you have a really nice looking miniature at this point. What is uh, left to do is to go for this base. If you didn't glue miniature to the base, next step will be very easy for you. Take it out and paint the edges and the base of the miniature using uh, ashing gray. Make this paint a little bit watered down because 
the edges of the base are very smooth and it's uh, it's paint consistency is too too too, too uh, uh, big there will be a very bad uh, feeling about this on it uh, next take PVA glue and prepare your flock uh, what you attach to the base you can see but I'm using here again some kind of brown uh, uh, sand that I prepared some time earlier after the PVA glue will dry I will paint the base using again ashing grey glue back miniature to the base and if it's necessary uh, put some additional PVA glue to the uh, parts where, when, where the miniature is uh, uh, glued to the base and paint it again with ashen grey. Next make a really gentle high dry brush uh, using administratum grey on the mm, base uh, where there is a colored sand. Next we'll make some additional glow around the ghostly part of the miniature and we'll use for that a hard glue. Make dry brush with it around the part where the ghostly form is coming out of the uh, ground. Uh, if there are additional parts like stones or grays, paint it also using Baharot blue. Next, take a uh, Ultuan gray and gently dry brush the parts closer to the ghostly form of the miniature. Add some additional things like uh, static grass or some uh, other things that you want to put on your base to decorate it and your miniature is finished. Remember also to use some kind of varnish or, or, uh, in spray or uh, put it on with your brush. I recommend you some kind of satin or matte uh, varnish for this and after that you will have your miniature finished. What is worth to mention that this technique is dedicated to patch painting. For example, you will take four of your Greencast Reaper out of the starter set and paint them at the same time. If you follow my steps, you will be able to paint miniatures one by one and at the time that you will, for example, place wash on the first one, after you finish with the fourth one, the first will be all, should be already dry, so you can apply, for example, next uh, wash on it. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you follow my steps, you should be able to paint like all four of your Grim Class Reapers from the Soul War starter set in something about uh, three to four hours maximum. So I hope you like my video. If you do, please leave thumb up below. If you want to get updates on other fast painting tutorials that I will add to my channel, please also subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, leave comment below. I will be really happy to reply and give you answer. Check out also my website at wishforgaming.com. You can find their high resolution pictures of all of the miniatures that I'm painting, step-by-step -step tutorials with pictures and my showcase. So thank you again for spending your time with me and I really hope to see you soon here. Bye!